Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm here with another haul. Don't ask. I am reducing my online shopping, but I didn't reduce it last month, so woohoo. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the goodies. I might have to just move everything. I think I'll do the washi first, because that's just easier. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna move this stuff over and hope I don't drop everything. Okay, I got a shed load of washi in the post this week, all from my mall box. Some of it was a pre-order and two of it were just orders. So these ones were a regular order. Me and my friend Vicky combined and I ordered all of these for us. Uh, she doesn't know this yet. We were gonna half the rolls, but I just ordered two of everything and I'm sending her one of each roll. So um, I got all of these. I love the Stardust ones. They're so pretty. I am team open, which you all know, but I just don't open them on camera because it would take me ages. So I got all those. Now, I think these were a pre-order. I don't know, maybe just an order. Who knows? But there's some more sparkly. Love this one with the stars. Super cute. And then this was definitely a pre-order from a while ago. So I got, I like to get them in sets because I like to use both sizes. Really like this ombre, purpley greeny ombre. Very pretty. Then, oh, sorry, my computer pinging. Ah! <laughs> I'll just drop all the washi. Okay. More stardust ones. I think they're stardust, but I love this white with the gold. And I love the stripes. I don't know why I'm going to use them, but I love the stripes. And then these ones, which is the black and gold stardust, floral, another sort of ombre, and then this purple, which is really nice, like really pretty. So yeah, a uh, shed load of washi yet again. Uh, this is the journaling card that I got with it. I really like this. I got two of those, so I sent one to Vicky. And a little bow. And now my dog wants to go out. Oh, excuse me. These two were also in the pre-order. Um, Galaxy 5.0 Dusk and Dawn. So I'm going to open these. So there's four in here. Three at 15mm and one 10mm roll. Love these. Love them. This one actually makes me think of like a stormy sea, which I live in Scotland, so the sea here is normally stormy. And I like the boxes. I always like the boxes. I don't really do anything with them though. And I don't actually keep the washi in the boxes, but never mind. And then Dawn, which also has 315mm and 110mm. And it's like the light version of the same. So that's pretty. I like the little pink hint on this one. Another very pretty set of washi. I have been reorganizing my washi and I've got a lot. I really need to use more washi. And then this is my sub box for May. I get my sub box sent to my mall box, so I don't always get it as quick as everyone else, but I also don't pay a load in customs, which is nice. So here's the list of what's in here. So there is a pen. It's a really nice pen. It's like a rose gold, like that. This is the mini roll add-on. My lady lights. Ooh, that's a bit better. Still half a lady. That's the mini add-on. 
Then there are sticky notes, the cactus. They're cute. I mean, there's not a lot of writing space, but they're still cute. And then the journaling card. Um, stickers. Seriously, we get a meal out of this, aren't I? Okay, these are on the new vinyl paper, which I love, by the way. It feels amazing. So there's the full boxes. I like that looking sharp. Oh no, there's another sheet there. I only showed you one. Um, the days of the week. Some headers. I really like that one. That would be nice if I ever get around to setting up my Akatar planner. And then a little sheet of decorative cactus, cacti, cacti, the plural of cactus. Who knows? Someone's going to know and they're going to tell me. So if you could, that would be great. Ooh. So then there are adhesive pockets. That is very pretty. And one with the moon. I like that one. And a washi card which I'm just going to put that back on the white so you can see the ombre effect of it. I like that a lot. Like a lot. This is making me want to set up a planner, which I don't need to do because I'm in my bujo. Uh, the pouch, foiled pouch. Very nice. Again, lined inside. Always a bonus in my opinion. And the washi. So there's this one with the stripe, I like that. Phases of the moon, some bows, and some floral. They are very pretty. That's a very nice sub box this month. I do really like that sub box. It's one of my favorite subscriptions. Then I got these. My friend Robin sent me these. Um, I paid for them. She's like my American shipping fairy. So these are from Walmart, I believe. I'm sure they're only like $2.98 each, but there's a ton of stencils. So it's stencils in a little folder. So that has eight stencils in. They all have eight stencil sheets. I come in a little folder. I'm not gonna take them all out, but they're all different ones. I'll show you a little bit. There's like boxes, functional, some words, shapes, letters, words, animals. So I thought I'd give them a go. So I'll let you know how I get on with those. I like them. Then this is my Happy Scrappy. Subscription. I think this is May's one as well. Came with this magnetic badge. I like that a lot. That is really cute. Really like that. So I get the standard like planner. I think it's called genetic planner kit. That way I'm not tied to one size. I am making a mess out of this and I've ruined the envelope. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not tied to one side that size then. It's not cut into one size, which I much prefer. Ooh. So I can use it in any planner. There is a pen in a pen pouch. 0.5 0.5 pen, that's nice, it's got a good weight to it, like that, and then stickers, I'm not normally a fan of like girls stickers, is this focused or no, there we go, I'm not normally a fan of girls but I quite like those, those are cute, and there's some bow checklists, those are pretty, some tabs, I like the washi tab. 
some months and headers, some boxes. Is this new paper? Did she say she'd get new paper? Quarter boxes. I like the paper. Feels nice. Some date covers and little teacups. I like the washi and the planners. Some boxes and some trackers. I like those trackers as well. Days of the week. Foiled. And another sheet of the days of the week. Foiled. So big stickers, I love, I, come on focus, I love that washi one and the planner one, I like the camera one too. There's two sheets of those. And then some boxes, I like the mild liners, they're really cute. Life is tough my darling, but so are you. Those are nice. Some more full boxes. Foiling is very nice on these. Some more here. And then papers. So that's the mild liner paper, the pens. Oh, that's so cute. And you do get two sheets, which is good because I like both sides of that. And then there is the vellum with the pens on. Pretty cute. Vellum with the ink. If you can hear random noise in the background, it's my husband watching TV. The ink, this is quite nice because I just got a Lamy pen and I've got a converter because I want to use some actual ink in it. The girls on the inside. And then this one. There are these two pockets. They're really nice. I like those. And then there are these clear die cuts, which I actually love. You can't really see them. Hold on. Clear foiled die cuts. I like these. These are weird. And I like them. A lot. Not sure how I'm going to use them, but I will find a way because they're cool. Very cool. Yeah, so that is the Happy Scrappy sub. Quite happy with all that actually. Okay, next up are some pens. These are the Lamy Safari in pastel pink. I got the ball pen. And I got the fountain pen. I blame Rachel for these purchases. Has a medium tip, but I've actually, nib sorry, but I've actually bought a fine point nib to swap this out with. But yeah, totally blame Rachel for these purchases. Rachel, if you're watching this, you know it's your fault. But my husband got these into his shop. So yeah, I had to get them. It's just a given. Some glue pens. My friend Rebecca from who I met at Planicon, she um, showed us how to use these for foiling. So I'm going to give them a go. So I got them from Amazon. Then I got an order from Sticker Palooza, which I hauled some not long ago from there. Um, I really like them, they're really good quality, and um, I just wanted some more. So this was my freebie, which is very pretty, pink. I got some date dots in silver and in rainbow, look at that rainbow, ah that's so pretty. I got cancelled in silver, I got some more days of the week in the hollow like rainbow crackle. I got cancelled and rescheduled in the rainbow, the rainbow is showing up so well on camera. Got no school in the rainbow, and I got day off in rainbow. 
Seriously, the rainbow showing up better on camera than in person. Um, but they're amazing. I love them. And the quality is really good. And I like that they're on clear paper. I'm not a big fan of date covers and stuff. Date dots especially that aren't on clear. And then this is something that I got shipped to my mall box. And this is an order from Pookie Bear Cuties. I think she was having a sale. Yeah, it was sale, spring fling sale. So this is the freebie. The ultimate planner sale, that was it. Oh my goodness, look how cute. So that is a Pookie Bear vinyl. Love that. Another freebie from the Ultimate Planner Sale. I think they were tiered freebies, and I'm pretty sure I spent enough. This one is from Plan with Anna. Very nice. Uh, CNL Crafts. Nice hollow. So then I got little Pookie Bear Workout. How cute are they? Let me pick it up. I got Road Trip in the Neutral. I got Declutter and Clean stickers. I'm trying, I'm trying to declutter and clean. Then I got some Hobo Weeks kits. And you will see, I bought Hobo Weeks, not for planning. It's gonna be my fitness wellness journal. So I did get this kit, which is the bookish kit. I got some little boxes. The bows, some weather, and then I got this one which is Planner Girl, and I got Days of the Week, thought these would be nice in Mabujo. I got some coloured stitched bow boxes, I got some clean brushes, not very good at remembering to do that, and then I got the Sweet Peach Kit because I couldn't resist because it was so pretty. And I got the full kit. I love the leopard print. I'm really into my leopard print at the moment, obviously. And there's some quarter boxes and date covers. Full boxes, yeah, totally into my leopard print. I got um, rainbow neon leopard print nails this month. So, yeah. Checklists, little things, washi, and the big washi. Love it. Yeah, you can't really go wrong with a bit of leopard print, can you? I don't think you can. Okay, and then I have an order from Craftelier, which the voucher that you got a planner con was still valid, so I decided to just use it. So I bought myself this Happy Notes with the cat on the front and the pink rings. I'm not going to use this in a notebook. I've ordered some sticky paper so that I can make my own like leftover sticker album and I wanted to use a, this size for it so I'm going to use this along with the pockets that I bought to store kits once I've used some of them and I'm going to mix it all up but I bought some adhesive sticky paper but I had to get it from the American Amazon so it's sitting in my mall box or it should be sitting in my mall box now so when that comes, I will make this into a sticker album. Then I got some more Happy Planner stickers because I can't resist them. I got Free Spirit. Love the colours. Then I got some of these envelopes to go inside as well. Which I really, I'm going to open them. Again, I'm going to use these to store stickers, but I really love... They actually close like a proper envelope and have washi on, but they are clear like, glitter. I love this. Love this one. I think that one's possibly my favourite. So I'm trying to make my sticker book very much a um, mishmash, like not just the sticker sheets. So these can have like if there's any little samples or little sheets of stickers. I'm trying to rejig my sticker organization because the box that I keep it in, I'll leave a link down below to my last sticker organization video. It's good, but it's not great. So, um, I got these adhesive pockets as well. Also, hopefully to be used in there. 
yeah, I bought the budget book again. Didn't mean to. Bought it by accident. Now I've got two. Might just give it to my daughter because she likes to stick stickers in her planner and she won't care what they are. But then I also bought this, which is an 18 month classic sized happy planner. Take the paper off. Um, so it starts, oh, I didn't realize it was hourly view. Oh yeah, vertical hourly layered. Didn't realize I picked the hourly. Just picked it because I liked the cover. And it starts in July. I don't know if I'm going to use this as a planner. I do like my bujo, but I am, this real feels really nice. Ooh, oh, this could be dangerous. I really like this. Oh no, guys. I love my bujo though, but this would be quite nice. Well, anyway, I might use it as a planner. I might not. But I bought the Christmas extension pack and the household extension pack because I either wanted to use, I'm, I've got rings, I bought some rings a while ago to try making my own. So I might use rings and set the paper from the notebook one with these and make a home binder. So it'll have Christmas, our home stuff like chores, meal plans, etc. in there. I just, I'm trying lots of different things and I'm actually really enjoying trying out lots of different ways of planning. I'm planning out like different things and different, um, you know, I'm just enjoying my planners again. Like I, I actually want to set up a rings, which I don't need a rings, but you know, I'm just enjoying playing around and my bujo is making me be creative and I'm enjoying the creativity of it. So this is an order from to Love and Monkeys, who I bought stickers from them at PlannerCon and they gave us a voucher and so I decided to order some stickers and oh my goodness, more workout ones because you know I only go once a week but never mind. Some teeny tiny headers, tasks, notes to do, to call, to buy next week. The love is, I just thought that was super cute super cute. Some more cancelled and rescheduled ones because I do like those. Some, now it says going out but I got this for the wine and the food so I'm going to use these for my menu plans, meal plans and when my friends come over for game night, if it's a wine game night, I've got my wine. This is a sampler, that's very cute and then I could not resist this. Folding up Doctor Who boxes, I mean come on, who could resist this? <laughs> 